Welcome to City Sparkles Corner and today we're going to make baked cod. Alright, I'm going to start with some lemons off my tree and to get it juicier, you roll the lemons like this and wash them, which we've already done. And I sprayed the baking dish with butter flavored spray and preheat your oven or in our case, we're going to do it on the rival roaster to 400. See how good and juicy this is? And hopefully we brought enough. If not, we'll go get some more. We're going to put the lemons on the bottom of the pan. Cut them as thin as you can without cutting your fingers. How juicy they are. Oh, they're so juicy. That's why you do it like this. Meanwhile, you're melting four tablespoons of butter in one pan. And I've already melted four tablespoons of butter in another pan and a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. I put the melted butter in the breadcrumbs and mixed it up. You'll see why. If you want to get these perfect, just use a cutter like I probably should have. But I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way. And then line the bottom of your pan with it. Okay. Good. And then these will just get tossed away. Okay, we're done with that. All right. I'm going to get two new gloves. And I've got water boil, it's getting ready to boil in the Ninja for a side dish, but this is the dish we're doing right here. Okay. For this dish, you'll need lemon juice, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese. All right, now we're going to open the packages of cards. Now these were frozen. All right. See? And we're going to put that on top of the lemons. Now if you don't want to do cod with this, feel free to use another fish. If you want to use flounder, use flounder. Or if you want to use tilapia, use tilapia, but just use your favorite fish. I just was kind of in the mood for fish. And I thawed this out. This was frozen fish. And I thawed this out, thaw it in the refrigerator for three to four hours. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to throw all, all, all these. Okay. And we're going to make a sauce for this. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the breadcrumbs over the fish. We're covering the breadcrumbs with the fish. 
I made too much breadcrumbs. This is going to bake in our rival roaster. I want to make sure I'm covering the fish completely. <laughs> All right, I covered the fish. All right, now I'm going to go wash my hands again. One thing I do is I wash my hands a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot when I'm cooking. All right. Now, you remember there's lemon on the bottom, right? Okay. So we're gonna put lemon juice around it. soy sauce, sprinkle it around it. You don't want your fish drying out so you want moisture in it. And some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to get some water. A cup of water. And there we go. Let's pour it on there. Now we're going to put this in the rival roaster 400 degrees for about 20 minutes to a half hour till it's done. And we're going to make a white sauce. We're going to make a sauce to go on top of this. You don't have to do nothing to it. If you want to cook it in your oven, cook it for the same amount of time. 400 degrees. Until it's done. All right. The hot water is hot for... So we're going to make egg noodles for a side dish. A bag of egg noodles. While the fish is cooking, that's going to be cooking. Okay, now I've got to get onto the sauce. So you got, you're doing multiple things. All right. You want to have this on five and your butter is now melted. You want to start with your butter melted. I forgot to get the can opener. Yeah, little can opener. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now that your butter is melted, we're going to take a half a cup. All right. We've got to get open up some of this stuff. All right. You want to take your container of chopped onions, not real onions, which these are kind of onions. And you want to get a pinch, two pinches of this inside the butter. What you making? The sauce to go with the fish. Mm. All right. We want to f flavor the sauce. We're making essentially a, like kind of like a spice fondue. All right. And then you want to take a crack of pepper which comes to about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper and put it in there and you want to use white table sauce it's salt about a quarter of a teaspoon of table sauce you want to get your parsley flakes a pinch ah, I love parsley, two pinches yeah. alright and about a quarter of a cup of parmesan and then you want to mix it up. You want to mix up your parmesan. Alright. And we're going to take 
And thanks to Black. Dark. How'd you open this? There we go. Take the camera. Black dart. Yeah, black dart. Black bart. Dart. Like black dart. Yeah. From her. Right okay. So you got the letter right on the fridge there. Black dart. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Now. Sorry, I got a bit of container problems. Right. Alright. And now we want to spice up our seafood a bit thanks to Black Dart who gave us some Old Bay seasoning. And you want to use a, about a teaspoon of the sprinkle of the seasonings. Alright. And you want to mix this. You want to make sure this doesn't burn on the bottom. Thanks, Black Dart. Thumbs up to Black Dart. Shout out to Black Dart. Appreciate ya. All right, now we're gonna open up a can of canned milk. A can of canned milk, a can of can. I'm gonna pour the whole can in there, which is 12 fluid ounces. Oh, it smells really good. Oops. Hey. Shout out to Maryland. Woo hoo hoo. Hey, it smells really good. All right, down is cooking. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we've got that. See how this looks? Could you pick that up, please? All right. Sure. What we want to do is we want to thicken this. Up. Stuff I dropped. <gasps> I tried to stick it back on and it just didn't work. You are fine. The magnet goes like this. You stick it on there. Alright, now we use the Old Bay seasonings to give it some nice. Oh, Black Dart gets this. Yeah, we yeah. forgot to do on the Black Dart week. The irony, when you dropped this Black Dart's letter. Yeah, I kept it on here for a second. Don't worry, Black Dart, I got you. It won't fall under my mouth. We appreciate Black Dart for sending this to us. All right. Well, see, you want to get this good and thick. You're heating it on five. All the ingredients together. Chris, I had an you idea. Some of it will try to solve our little problem back there. I'm thinking this. That smells good. I can smell it from my room. Is it done yet? Nope, it's not done. Shake it. I was in my room. I take a big whiff. I go, I yawn. I was like, ah. Oh, <laughs> oh, the air tastes good today. <laughs> yeah. Today's forecast in the house nice and smelly. Good, good smell. Not bad smell. I'm not talking about David Spark smell. And Black Dart sent us Old Bay seasoning for seafood, poultry, salads. And meat. And it says on it you just use a small amount. Oh, so that's not like pepper? Like a quarter of a teaspoon and it enhances the flavor. So we put the quarter of a teaspoon into our sauce, as you saw. Thanks to Black Dart. Shout out Black Dart. Really appreciate it. We saved this for a special day. This is a special day. <laughs> Welcome to As we're going along on this. I'm adjusting. I'm putting in. You want to keep making sure you scrape the bottom because you don't want this to burn. And um, you're heating it on five. <laughs> and what we're trying to do is so we're thickening the sauce. And we're getting to the point where we're almost ready to plate. But we got to make this sauce while the fish is cooking. See, the, the fish takes about 20 minutes and we're trying to make this beautiful sauce. You can't rush it, you just can't, so. You can't do better than fraction. Mm. 
you see you adapt to it like this putting a sprinkle in like you saw me do at a time and we're gradually thickening it starting at a quarter of a cup until you get to about one cup one and a half cup of Parmesan cheese and as you're thickening it you're using the heat as a thickening agent the Parmesan as a thickening agent like you would like flour and any lumps you just kind of get out until you create what looks like to be kind of a thick sauce see like this you're going to end up using a cup to a cup and a half but you got to adjust it to how much You see, because the 12 ounces of canned milk, canned milk makes a great sauce. If you don't have any canned milk, use your regular white milk, but canned milk makes for a really thick, wonderful sauce. I think it's a greatly underrated product. We use it here so much. Because what we're trying to do is just to create a nice sauce. This is almost to the consistency you want. Yeah, see? And then when everything's done, we're just gonna put it all together. Okay. See, all right, there you go. That's the consistency we want. So we're gonna turn this off the heat and set that aside till the fish is done. And I'll see you whenever we get it. So Chris, what's on the menu today? Oh, hey, I'm talking to one of our subscribers about what what we're cooking because they're a good friend of mine. But back to Sea Sparkle, I'm just doing things. Ah! Where's her fingers? They vanished. She's a Lego person. As we all are. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do um, what we're doing so far, right now we're plating. Oh, okay? Oh, oh. And David's got the green bean. We, we put some pasta, egg noodles right there. Please. And there. And then I'm going to put the green beans beside there. Then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the rest. The so how I'm going to handle the sauce. Okay, we've had this cooking. And now the fish is done. So we're turning this off. Wow. And we're going to take out the fish. You got the serving one right there. I'm just licking the spoon. I'm sorry, but I have to try it. Okay. All right, we've got to get. Mm-hmm. I've never tried this sauce before. So I've never made it before. That is why I'm trying it for the first time. <laughs> okay. My noodle. Dave is going to get the dinner out. I don't want him getting burnt or me getting burnt. Okay. That's very hot because it just came out of a 400 degree oven. All right. A little piece of information for everyone. Regardless of the quality of the gloves you're using, eventually heat will get through them. So when you're handling something hot, either put it onto a cool surface ASAP or have somebody else to take some of the heat off if it is too hot. In my case, it was not too hot, but I still rush to prevent the heat burn through. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. There's more what does that happen to me? Noodles for more. Oh. All right? Oh. So, we're going to take this piece of fish oh, you can and we're going to put it right on top of the pasta noodles. I want pictures. Okay. Now, we're going to get this other piece of fish. Pizza fish? Mm, All right. I'm going to put that on top of the noodles. 
And now we're gonna get another piece of fish. Pizza we'll fish sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. Of the noodles. Okay, there's more fish here, but what we're gonna do is that's for probably one second. All right, now we're gonna take some of this sauce and we're gonna pour it over the fish like this. The green beans hasn't got put on the plate yet. I gotta record this with my friend now. She's gonna you wanna push flip. the sauce right on top of the fish. All right, Rogue. Uh, this is it right here. Oh. Okay. And now, take your green beans that you microwaved and put them on the side. Yeah, we're recording you now. <laughs> yes, that paradox did happen. Okay. Yeah, they right on there. this piece for myself. Right. Actually, I don't want to do anything. Because I want to have more green beans. Okay, there you go. And now, it's taste testing time. Which one do you want, Chris? There you go. Okay. All right, you can see, is this not a beautiful meal? Oh, I gotta taste test this. Short All right, channel. cut your fish up like this. It's so tender. The cod is so tender. No, I want, I want green again. All right. Now you want to get. I'm gonna get something of everything. Something of the sauce. There's more sauce there, and rubby noodles right on top, and the fish, and. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's amazing. What oh, I'm gonna get another bite. It's amazing. I'm not very really taste stressed now. Chris, what did you think of it? Hold on. So, Rogue, this is it right here. I'm giving you a sneak peek before she puts up the video, which I don't care. She got the sneak peek. She got VIP. She's my friend. Mm -hmm. And I, on I envy you, she's my head disciple for my character. So. <laughs> She gets sneak peek on anything. It's just amazing. Oh, dude, it's so good. <coughs> There's more fish and pasta noodles for those who want seconds. All right. It's more fish in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Sitting out for black dart. That's another piece of fish right there. I wanna, that's a lime. I got a small piece of fish, that's all I want. <sighs> Oops, it's a shaker. It's a small piece. I want a little bit. A little bit of Old Bay seasoning right on the green beans. Tell me how it tastes when you do that. And then, we've got the Old Bay seasoning on it. All right, it is. And good. it works. But you know what? This is going to be even better. Mixing it all up into one. All of it together. That's what I was going to do. I was just waiting to get more sauce in there. This sauce is killer. I hate it. All right. I may. I just invented it. This works. All right. So right. me and David have a tendency of just mixing everything together. Mm -hmm. Because it all comes out really good. Plus it's all going to go to the same place. Come on. <laughs> I need to stop being as long as I'm going to do it then. Chris, I don't think it's had a taste yet. Oh, I already tasted it. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm mixing it just, just like amazing. Paper. It's amazing. So good. Mmm. Oh. I think I make a burger out of it. There it is. Definitely give this a try. It's really good and new and a original way to make cod. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And as always, the fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner. She doesn't mean Hugs and kisses <laughs> to my family to yours. And a special double thumbs up for Black Dark for sending us. There's one of the special ingredients in this recipe. Which I actually tested on green beans. So I at least tasted the whole base seasoning. Okay. We love you. All of you. Y'all mean so much to us, our viewers, subscribers, and our patrons. So thank you for watching. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. Bye, everybody. I just got to eat this. It's so good.